Disclaimer. Due to YouTube throwing us creators under the bus in regard to the copper law, which was about YouTube holding personal data of children under the age of 13, which of course YouTube did, they broke the law, as us creators have no access to anyone's info, and that's the way it should be. So yeah, I know it's fucking stupid, but I have to disclaimer this shit. My content is not suitable for anybody under the age of 13 so please turn this video off if you are under that age thanks for your understanding hello and welcome i am your host mr cheeky 19 87 we're back at it once again bringing you fresh content so we're gonna almost almost wrap up portland hidden packages trophy there would be about two of well, i think it's three left for another video but we would need to get to uh how can i say this like the, the um further in the story to get to certain part yeah we'll just say that because i don't want to put any spoilers right so just keep driving down from your hideout until you get to right until you get to this sign here h and w seafoods because i know this can be quite confusing so chuck the right and just keep looking on the left see look oh, even i've already gone past it get the health if you need it okay there's the boxes so jump over hidden package 21 of a hundred right there on the map so we're gonna drive past right we're not turning there so it's just literally there see where the boxes are from the turning and we'll put that on the map so it's just there so we're gonna get out we're gonna jump over these boxes which you can just drive from normally i don't have any problems as you'll see in the original gta video but anyway hidden package 22 of a hundred now the next one is obviously just round the corner it's right there be on the lookout for punk noodles i mean them noodles have been punking people but anyway just come around here drive through the boxes as you see there's a rampage there so we're gonna jump out climb these stairs any of you guys that have played liberty city stories We'll know why this roof is kind of important to that game. Hidden pack is 23 of a hundred. So that's where it is. Right. So just look down there. You'll see roughly where your car is. And of course jump over. Only in GTA kids. Don't do it in real life. Although... If you're a kid, you shouldn't be watching this game anyway. Right, so we're going to drive straight up here. Because it's so quick, I'll not cut it. Now here, there's two unique stunt jumps that I will show you in a future video. But if you decide you want to do it now, keep a note of it. But just reverse here if you're in a banshee. Full, speed, full steam ahead and then jump over there. As this is a hidden package guide, we need to go to the right. Follow this all the way. Get out of the car with some swiftness. Hidden package 24 of 100, which is right there. Right, again, this one's very close. And you need a little bit of prep work for this one. So we'll jump over here. Perfectly without destroying my car, which obviously I haven't. Now I'm hoping my banshee doesn't get stolen. Sometimes that can happen. So we're going to steal this rumpo. It's called Grand Theft Auto for a reason, after all. I wouldn't worry too much about the alarm. I think maybe once or twice in my entire life if I had the police on my ass for stealing this rumpo. So reverse it in place up and over and there's nothing over here apart from what we're going for so we're going to run up this sawdust mill across this warehouse roof we're just going to keep sprinting and stay on the left hand side like i am 
because we're going to get some goodies, another Uzi, and of course the armor. Very important in this game, but we're still going to continue running up on this roof. Slight drop, chuck to the left, and boom, hidden package 25 of 100. Right there. So, has my banshee been stolen? Yes, it fucking has. Well, if yours hasn't, you can literally just jump down and, of course, reclaim it. I'm just going to steal this brother's cab. Come here. That didn't work. Better be gone in a minute. Right, this one can be a bit confusing. So, where that rumpo was, was just around that corner. So, if we drive across here... Gonna go past Joey's. To save you running all the way around, we can literally run around this way and hidden package 26 of a hundred. Claude, just chill out, bro. And there we are. Now, another thing to bear in mind, and I'm sure. You might not need it so much now because you've just got armor but just on the other side there you can see there's some more armor because someone stole my car again right so that's where we just got the hidden package so we're going to go straight down here and to the bitching dog food factory now this gate should open automatically like it does now there's some good missions in this area there really is so we're going to get out here and we're going to go and get Hidden Package 27 of 100, which is literally there. But this is where we are, pretty much in the same area. There's Joey's over there. We're sort of on the back and far side. So we are going to go this way. And what the f is going on here? See, look, that's where we just was, kind of. So we're going to go over here and through here. There's a rampage there. A police star, which I'm going to take. But more importantly, if we get out here. Hidden package 28 of 100. Claude looks like he's losing the will to live. It's right there. I mean, we're so close to getting all of the Portland hidden packages. Now, we need to go to the L train track. So, we're going to go this way. I'm sure most of y'all know how to get there, but, you know, past the police station, the hospital. If you need help, go get it. Now, I'm going to show you where this is on the map anyway. Right, we're going to go speeding around the corner. Basically, where we got that other hidden package, I think, in the first video or the first section. Right, so back on here. So just keep an eye for the train. It's not here. Make sure you go to the left and just keep sprinting away. It's quite a way, to be honest. In fact, there's an item or something over there. I mean, the draw distance is incredible, man. Now, the train's obviously been passed. The building we're going to go on here, and as I say, this can, this is another awkward one. Jump, and by some miracle, I think we've done it. So we're going to run around. It's probably better for you guys to go the other way, if possible. Now, for the first time ever, because I always go around this corner, just go straight over here. We're going to go to Goody Central. So, if you need health, of course, take it. Armor. Of course, we need drugs, because drugs are cool. Not. Right, there you go. Well, it's interesting to see that effect. But more importantly... Hidden package 29 of 100. So, just... In front of Joey's, really, kind of, on the side. Just there. 
Now, there is another way to get this one, but I think this is literally the easiest method to do it. Right, if you start here, this is going to make it real easy for you guys and girls out there to find. We're outside. See, the first sign, I can't get the gun out, but it's up there. This is the second one. A bit further down past the entrance. So we're going to drive over here. I know it's difficult to see because it's dark. Look out for this tower. Hopefully don't run people over. Now, coming to here. Now, that is a, one of the unique st unique stunt jumps right there. So, if you've got a banshee, you can attempt it. So, just right, right. Drive as fast as you can up here. And then spin around like a G. Look at that. Hidden package 30 of 100. And look, grenades have been delivered. And it wouldn't be a Mr. Cheeky 1987 video without showing you our jackpot. There we go. On the amazing platform, a collection of guns and ammo, or guns and other weapons. So, of course, save as usual. I hope that helps someone. And in a later part, we'll be finishing the last two or three hidden packages for Portland. So, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.